Okay, deconstruct B-Rep and B-Rep edges. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing these two components and talking about why you may want to use one or the other and what, what some of the advantages and disadvantages are, okay? So what is the context? Well, this is Larkin Street uh, substation expansion. Uh, and you can check out uh, a longer video where I explain uh, a little bit more about how this algorithm works. Uh, but this is what we're going to be using to explain some of these components. Okay, so first of all, uh, you know, this comes down to, there's going to be some cases where you can use deconstruct B-Rep or B-Rep edges. And there's going to be some cases where you're going to want to focus in and know which one is is better to use. So basically, Deconstruct B-Rep is going to give you uh, your faces, your edges, and the vertices from your B-Rep. Whereas B-Rep edges is only going to give you edges, but it's going to give you more, uh, three different types of edges. Whereas Deconstruct B-Rep is only going to group all your edges into one uh, into one list. All right. So if we're, if we're thinking about this in Rhino terms, um, deconstruct B rep is sort of like when we take, um, a B rep or, uh, you know, extrusion and we explode it. So if you're looking for the explode version in grasshopper, it's going to be deconstruct B rep because from this deconstruction, that's where we're going to find all of our, uh, B rep faces. And that's also, like I said, where we can get our edges from. So first of all, first off, if you need edge, if you need faces and vertices, then you're definitely going to want to use deconstruct B-Rep because B-Rep edges does not have uh, that available to you. And also, if you don't need faces and vertices, then you may not want to use deconstruct B-Rep because it might take a little bit more computing power uh, to to uh, compute this component because it's because it's generating the faces and the vertices. Let's take a look at what at whether okay our profiler is on. So uh, our profiler is not measuring any significant load on either of these components. That's because my B reps are very 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 simple. Uh, just just very very simple B reps. So in this case, I don't really care about computation time because it's going to be like milliseconds if that uh, difference between these two components. But if you have very very complicated um, uh, surfaces, which I've definitely experienced, you may want to consider using B rep edges because it's not going to generate the faces, um, which might take more computing power, right? But in this case, I'm using deconstruct B rep just because like it didn't really matter, but I just wanted to, just for the sake of simplicity, I wanted one output with all my edges as one list. Okay. But if, like I said, if you have a complicated geometry, you might want to use B rep edges so that you're only getting the edges. But also the, the real benefit between B rep edges is the three different types of inputs. So let's look at, uh, let's look at that. Let's look at what that means. Um, we have from our outputs, we have naked edges as a list. We have interior edges as a list and we have non manifold edges as a list. Whereas, like I said, in deconstruct B rep, just edges, it's all the edges combined. So why do we care about these three different types of edges? Well, there's many different reasons, many different contexts for uh, needing this. You might be testing geometry if to see if it's solid. Maybe you only want certain edges for some reason. Um, if I use this B rep as an example, plug it in here. Let's see what kind of B reps we get. I'm going to internalize this. And you can see we have, out, we've outlined these edges. What kind of edges do we have here? So we have no naked edges. Our list is empty. We have a bunch of interior edges. We don't have any manifold edges. So, um, let's create some naked edges. So I'm going to split this. Okay. So now we have an open B rep and you're going to see that now we're going to create some naked edges. So we still have some interior edges and we also have a list of naked edges. So, uh, what are these three lists? Well, naked edges are edges that only share 
one surface. So naked edges are always where there's an opening in your geometry. If a B-rep is open, the open, the open, wherever the opening is, those will be naked edges because the, the edges are connected to only one face, right? Only one surface, okay? Whereas interior edges are edges that are connected to uh, more than one uh, surface. And those are going to be the edges that you find in a fully closed B-rep. Okay, so if I isolate my naked edges, you can see that's our opening. And our interior edges are, are all the other edges that are not uh, involved in that opening. And every single one of these edges shares, more than, uh, shares two surfaces. Okay, now what are non-manifold edges? Well, non-manifold edges are, are basically where an edge shares more than two surfaces. So that might be where three surfaces meet or, uh, or you know, it could be where four surfaces meet. And you're saying, well, that doesn't, I hope you're saying like that doesn't really make sense because that shouldn't happen. And you're totally correct. Uh, we should not have, uh, we should not have any non-manifold edges because that means we have an invalid surface. Let's try to do that. Okay. So now we have us a, a B rep and now we have some non-manifold edges. Okay. Because we have four surfaces meeting at this edge. Okay. And that's why this is non-manifold and this is not going to be a valid, uh, B rep basically it's not going to be uh, a valid closed B rep even if we close this opening this wouldn't be valid so B rep edges might be useful for in one case it could be useful for diagnosing uh, where uh, where we have an invalid B rep because I can look and I can quickly find uh, my my naked curves and that's where our our open B rep is open if we're trying to close it I can even zoom in on that condition or I can use non manifold uh, edges. And I can zoom in on that, oops, and find, figure out where I also might have issues with my B rep. So that can be useful. Or it may not be for diagnosing at all. Maybe we want to take the naked edges. Maybe we want to extrude it. Maybe we're trying to, uh, maybe we want to cut a hole in our B rep and we want to extrude. Um, those curves, but first we have to join it, right? Okay. So there could be some conditions where we want to isolate only our naked curves because maybe there's an opening in our B rep and we want to create an extrusion there, or we want to, uh, blend, maybe we want to do a blend surface or something like that, you know, like maybe, um, yeah, there could be a condition where we want to blend the surf, the, the, the surfaces using our naked edges. Or we want to create some type of uh, culling component that culls any open B rep. So you could create an, an algorithm that tests does like does this B rep have any naked edges or non manifold edges, and then you can just cull that out of your list of B reps or something like that. So that's why you might want to use uh, those are some basic examples of about why you might want to use B rep edges. Okay, um, and let me just also mention because we might be thinking about some of this in terms of Rhino. If you want to do something like, um, if you want to get, if you want to do like dupe, if you want to, actually, I can't do this with a B rep, but if you want to do something like dupe face border, which is kind of what I'm doing in this, uh, in this script, actually in a few different places, something like if we have a, our surface and then we do dupe face border, and then we get the curves from our from our our face border, right? Uh, the way we do that in Grasshopper is we use B rep edges, we use our naked edges, or in this case we're using our deconstruct B rep, and these is this is going to be the same as our naked edges, and we just join it, okay? So our surface looks like this. Uh, we deconstruct it to get our edges and we join uh, the curves that are coming out of this uh, this output. We could also use our faces. Uh, you know, if we had a if we had a full B rep, it wasn't just surfaces. We would deconstruct our B rep and then we would choose which faces we want to use. We would do the same thing. Uh, we would uh, extract the edges from the faces with either another deconstruct B rep or B rep edges. Um, and 
and actually our our edges might be grafted uh let me test that yeah so our edges don't automatically get grafted so what we could do is we could take deconstruct b rep we'd have to create some way to select uh which curve which face we want from our b rep and then we could deconstruct that face and then join the edges of that face and that would be equivalent to us in rhino going and doing dupe face border duplicate face border right so that's a little tip that i wanted to just add in there okay i uh, hope this was interesting hope you uh learned something and i'll see you later